Welcome to Doug in Exile, where part of what we do is document just what the media is doing to you. They're brainwashing you. It is made clear in this video. Welcome to Doug in Exile. Here's the news going nuts. Love fest on Tim Walls. Midwestern dad, like super clean yeah. cut vibe. Everybody likes <laughs> right? Tim Walls. Two Tim Walls is out in public right now. One that the big media is trying to, they will not talk about his policy. There's no policy involvement. It's purely kind of his identity as a coach, dad, you know, teacher, kind of a normal old white guy. And so he's the diversity hire, by the way, on the Kamala Harris ticket. They needed a normal acting guy to balance Kamala Harris freak show. So plain spoken and relatable. As moderate and independent as it comes. Pretty moderate Democrat. I always knew him as a moderate. One of the most uh, moderate. Very moderate record. The new moderate. I think this is the new moderate. Far from progressive. He's right down the middle. He's not just an old white man. Tim Walsh beats America. You know, talks like a regular person. Tim Walsh is the opposite of weird. Tim Walsh is basically younger Joe Biden. Regular old Joe out there. There's a Kasich. Very helpful, buddy. No, he's normal. He's normal. He's a moderate. He's a moderate. A moderate who wanted tampons put in boys' bathrooms. Signed a law that said that in boys' bathrooms, you know, the, the boys that would need a tampon, what is that, 0.01% of the population? And he, in the name of normalcy and moderation, and being a moderate, wanted them in every single public bathroom in Minnesota. That's Minnesota nice. That's all you Minnesota people out there. His policies of uh, removing children from parents who will not allow their kids to transition, uh, that's a state law. He instilled the spy program where you can turn in your neighbors if they weren't compliant enough a couple of years ago about the problem. Um, he is the most extreme, the most leftist Democrat out there. And yet he carries himself. His personality type is very much your uncle and a Sunday school teacher. And I kind of like Jimmy Carter, you know, or Al Gore. These are people, you know, but their policies, their policies, their policies are extreme. And then Trump and Vance's personality type might mean might be more abrasive, but their policies right now, their policies are hitting, are polling about 60% with Americans. In other words, if you don't tell them it's from Trump and Vance and you bring up the policy, like, should we have deportation of illegals? It, it, it hits about 60% in America. Populist approach to fear on the uh, Republican side and the happy populism and the happy populism that Tim Walz is on the ticket on the Democratic side. Walls is a kind of happy warrior. Happy warriors. Happy warriors. Do they all have the same rider? Did they all get the notes? Or was this spontaneous? He was certainly the happy warrior last night and, and seemed to be the happy warrior last night. A happy warrior, a folksy backstory. Are going to be very happy warriors. There is a new happy warrior. Following the kind of happy warrior mold. Happy warrior. Happy warrior mentality. We're all going to call him a happy warrior. He's the happy warrior. By the way, if Trump called himself a happy warrior, can you imagine what the media would say about him using the word warrior? They're going, we know what you mean by happy warrior. You're a warrior. You're you're promoting violence. But the love fest of the media slobbering all over Tim Walls goes much farther. Wicked sense of humor. Look how happy the pig looks. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and now here's J.D. Vance. How did the media treat him during his rollout? Let's watch their unbiased uh, just coverage, just reporting the facts, ma'am, just the facts on J.D. Vance. And J.D. Vance <laughs> is weird, extreme, and angry. Utter humorlessness, the humorlessness and pompousness. It's hard to believe that J.D. Vance could be any more extreme. It's like a freak show of bros. They have J.D. Vance, dark and ugly, beneath the dignity of most politicians. Charlie Sykes with J.D. Vance is dark and ugly? Uh, this guy's supposed to be some kind of a Republican or some kind of a leaning to our direction. This is, this is the most hardcore, hilariously evil propaganda we've seen. It's night and day what they say about the two. You won't get one kind statement by any of the media for J.D. Vance and not a single unkind statement about Tim Walls, who once had a DUI 
for driving 95 miles an hour in a 55 mile an hour zone. They just, they're going to bury all this stuff, bury his military record. It all has to be buried that he bailed when his uh, unit shipped out to Iraq. J.V. Vance. J.D. is at the far extreme. The most extreme. Being one of the most extreme. We need to recognize the, the danger. Angry and mean and dark. Cat lady hating sidekick J.D. Vance. This guy is really weird, y'all. Everybody in America knows a J.D. Vance, but we stay away from him because he's weird. Anger. Chaos. So weird is uh, a kind of folksy way of calling you a deplorable. That's what they mean about J.D. Vance. He's a deplorable. But they use this folksy, more innocuous term to kind of normalize it, that uh, MAGA is weird. Weird. Really? Are we weird? You know, um, and it's just clear, abject hatred of J.D. Vance. And sometimes when someone hates you, it's because you're doing what's right. Here's Elon Musk. You know, if evil people hate you, well, you might be doing something right. It's important to have the right enemies. And that's part of how you gauge what you're doing. The left has their enemies, the right have their enemies. But again, here's more just slobbering worship fest on Tim Walls. Hope, hope optimism, joy. Salt of the earth, Midwestern uncle vibes, the quintessential Midwestern dad. <laughs> Tim Walls keeps winning hot dish contests, apparently. There's some folksy charm. Tim Walls is so funny that if he's good at this, he will release a recipe for a hot dish. Just don't repeat his policy, whatever you do. Just keep it down to baking hot dishes. All of his time on the ground, you know, fixing F-150s. Ops out of a Norman Rockwell painting, right? He's small town America incarnate. Midwest, your uncle, your dad. I have not been this happy in years. He's the guy who is always there to help you, whether it's changing your oil, whether it's fixing a lawnmower, or whether it's helping to fix our democracy. It feels so good to have hope. Those who believe the mainstream media, and this is a giant rollout, they are being shepherded into stupidity. You're literally becoming dumber and believing false things. And I'm going to call him the coach from now until election day. Coach, coach. Tim Waltz, the plain spoken fun uncle who will defend the people he loves. Proud, the resilient, the hardworking, uh, patriotic. Ice fishes. He's a hunter. He does uh, butter carving. It's not you know, their fault that they're huge. They're huge. Media is huge. They control the narrative. And that's what's going to drag Kamala Harris over the finish line. Remember, Kamala Harris has not done one news media event where they'll only give her false uh, softballs. And she went from being unpopular to super popular. She doesn't have to do a thing. She doesn't have to lift a finger. The media says, Kamala, we got this. What do you think? Are you on board? Are you in exile yet? Like, follow, subscribe. I'm Doug in exile.